Hello everybody and welcome back to Myla, um, our Let's Play with Myla. And here's Myla in this incredible new boarding, uh, boarding school magic school that I found off the gallery and downloaded by Miss Ruby Bird, um, I think. Well, her name will be down in the video. I did, in the last video, I did pull up her gallery and show it to you. So if you haven't seen the last video and you want to know where this came from, um, just let me know. All right, now I'm wondering, are there dressers? There are dressers, but they're not dressers down here. No, there's no, so she, oh yeah, there are. Okay, so um, Myla spent the night and I think most of the day, I think she basically slept for like 36 hours um, here. She met Alphaba at the bar and um, Alphaba told her that, you know, if she went through the portal, she would find this great place where she could eat, she could have food, she could, um, she'd be able to, to have a bed to sleep in and everything, and she's not gonna have to pay anything, she is going to have to follow, uh, the rules of the place, however, so we do need to figure out what's going on with Alphaba, uh, we're gonna have to connect with her, but while she's here, Myla found that there is a whole new outfit in her dresser for her to wear, so we're gonna go ahead and finally put more clothes on Alphaba, I'm sorry, not Alpha, but on Myla, and we're going to do this with uh, Realm of Magic. We're going to give her some Realm of Magic outfits. So, oh, that's very, that's very Myla. Let's see, this one's good too. Um, I think I'm, I think we're going to go with, that's nice. Man, I, I actually really like the Realm of Magic clothing. I don't get to use it. I don't use it a lot, but I actually really do like it. I think we're going to do... That's like one of my favorite sweaters in the whole game. I use, I play with it all the time. I think we're gonna put Myla in this outfit. I think she's, you know, she's gonna go a bit more modest. Um, you know, she doesn't want to take the nicest looking thing in the in the drawer. But, you know, when she talked to Alphaba yesterday, L L told her that she can have the bed. She can have, you know, she can use the. Um, she can use anything she finds, basically. Whatever she finds is open for her to use. So, let's see if anything, any fun pants came. Oh yeah, this skirt came in Realm of Magic. That's a great skirt. And these shorts. Oh gosh, I love those shorts. But we're going to use these pants. And <laughs> their stripe is so hilarious. I don't know why the stripe is so funny to me. And for somebody who hasn't been able to eat very much, uh, She's definitely developing some some hips and body, which is pretty, which which is good. I'm pretty happy about that. And she's gonna put new socks on. She hasn't had socks in a while, so she's going to get. Did any socks come with this game? I don't remember. No. So she's gonna use these socks here because they're. Wait, do we have any spooky socks? Um, as you see, I don't have all of the packs. Uh, we don't really have spooky socks now. Okay, we're gonna use the these socks here from university, and then she's not gonna have shoes on with. Oh, lovely! Do any? It's the pants, right? If I take the pants off, yeah. Okay, so those pants are broken and don't show the socks. Interesting. Go. Yeah, those pants just don't show the socks. Does she need socks? You know, maybe she doesn't actually need socks. Or maybe we put her in something not Realm of Magic. Maybe we just put her in some jeans. Put her in like these. Let's put her in some um, jeans. And again, she there's a few options, but she feels kind of weird about grabbing the nicest clothes. So she's just going to pick some clothes that she can do. I'm just trying to figure out which clothes would even be available for her. Maybe these. Yeah, these would probably be in there. And she's going to wear some white. White or blue? Hmm. And if, if you're watching and you think I made the wrong decision about her clothes, let me know. Uh, just leave a comment and let me know that, you know, I'm terrible at doing clothes and I you completely disagree with everything that I've done and which outfit you think that she should have worn instead. Um, and I will definitely, you know, respond and take your consideration into, into account here. But this is what she's wearing for right now. So she's got a whole new... She's got a whole new look. This is our first new look. Very exciting. From Myla. 
And hopefully this will be the only loading screen we see, because she's pretty much just going to stay in the magic school this episode. Now, Myla is a very ambitious young lady. She wants to experience the world. She didn't have a great childhood. She didn't have a very, she didn't have a lot of opportunities when she was a kid. Um, she grew up, she doesn't really know anything about her family. So, wow, loading screen's taking forever. Um, so she doesn't really know anything about her family or anything. So she's, you know, wants to do everything. And everything, part of everything, includes being a magical person. Now, she probably won't be a magic person her whole life. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this, but my what I'm kind of thinking is that she's going to, you know, she could be a magic, she'll be, she'll have magic, but then she will eventually want to get rid of the magic. Oh, she looks really good. Um, she'll want to get rid of the magic and become, and try other things. She'll want to, you know, she'll run into a vampire and want to try that life. She'll run into a mermaid and want to try that life. But right now she's in her magic life, although she doesn't really understand where she is. She didn't actually see anybody do magic yesterday. I'm looking for Alphaba. Where do we think she is? Because she wants to go find Alphaba. Well, just, oh, there's Elf. Alphaba's over here. I guess this is Alphaba's, like, study. I think she was here last time. No, she was over in this corner last time. Hmm. Okay, so she's going to go here. She's going to talk to Elphaba. She's going to say, hey, Elle, uh, what do you think about my new outfit? Okay, well, don't go there, there, because she's leaving. So, actually, am I? I'm hitting the wrong button. Am I? I am. Okay. It's it's dark. Definitely. It's Sorry, I'm in a dark room right now. Um, all right, so she's going to go to Elphaba. They're going to talk close a little bit. I know they can't actually really talk close, but... We are going to discuss interests. And where is compliment outfit? Can I not compliment her outfit? I guess she can't compliment the outfit yet. Okay, well, she's gonna like get to know a little bit. And we're gonna say that while she is um, talking to her, oh, what is Alphaba? She is a sage, of course. She wants to talk about wisdom and the truth. That makes sense. She is a sage. Um, so while they're talking, we're going to say, like, she's like, hey, uh, is, are these clothes okay? And Alphabet's like, yeah, of course, the clothes are great. And um, so she's got that. She's learning a little bit about her, but she's also learning that this is kind of a special magic school. And there is a particular um, schedule that she has to follow. Oh, you don't have to go see what's happening. Nothing's happening. Um, she wants to go. So they're talking about what's going on at the school. They're talking about, you know, is, if everything's okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy in the menus. Oh, wait. Compliment outfits here now. Maybe she had to be level two. And I missed it. I know this is an outfit order, and I still missed it. There's compliment outfit. outfit. Oh, Oh, it's an only child. Okay, so they're talking, and she's saying, this is actually a magic school. And she's like, oh, really? Well, how do we do magic? So she's going to introduce her to magic. Talking to her about magic. Very exciting. And, uh, yeah, we're ready. All right, and we're also going to learn that there's a schedule we have to follow. And this is kind of a schedule that I want to, um, that I want to follow with, Myla, while I'm here, I'd like to treat this like a school, even if, you know, I can't control all the other NPCs and no one else is going to do that. Um, I would at least like to treat this as a school. So we're going to say that she has to, she has to follow a schedule in the morning she has to practice potions and then she has to practice some spell work and she has to spend time talking to all of the sages. Um, so that's kind of what's going to go on. And I'm going to do that for maybe the next few episodes. What I'm really hoping is that we become, you know, we get through maybe this aspiration, maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. How many modes does she have? I think I tried to over collect modes once when I played this and the game did not like that. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, you can only have the seven. 
Because I thought I was going to, like, cheat the system and be like, oh, I'm going to grab a bunch of moats now, and then I can have a bunch of them later. And the game said, no, that's not happening. All right, there's one there. Oh, they're over here. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then she'll be good. All right, so she's collecting these moats. She's still not too sure about this magic thing, but she's excited. Um, you know, she's a bit hesitant. She did come from an orphanage, but she doesn't see children here, which is, which is a positive. And everything looks a lot nicer than where she went. And she also never, you know, she didn't really get to go to a private school or anything. So this is a really exciting, it's really exciting for her. Oh, she's wearing shoes outside too. Or she's not wearing her shoes outside. So the school is apparently set to no shoes, which is a great touch. Um, the person who made this really thought about that when they did this. And I just want to check. I think there's one more. Can I, I don't know, can I pick that? No, I can only get the seven. Okay. Um, so no shoes are allowed. Now let's go find L. There we go. And we are going to brighten her day. Oh, we're gonna, oh, what's that? Let's not help out. She's a good sim. I think the help out is a new is since the update. I'm sorry, you're headed all the way over there. You don't actually need to go over here. Come on, this is day one. Oh, there was a moat there. Oh, and oh, you know what? I think they respawn. That's what's going on. So let's brighten her day and help her out and then tell her we have the moats. I don't know what helping out is, but you know, Mila's a good sim. She's into what does that mean? Help out. Oh, and we're stinky because we need a, you know, why don't you ask her for one? Huh. How about, that was interesting. I don't think she actually did anything, but she's still helping her out. No, she's just chatting. We might, I might go in and fix Alphaba. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't really know who designed her. I think they could have done I think they could have done a better job, and I'm not really good at designing sims or anything, but... Okay, well, I guess she fixed her cycle for her. So, let's turn in notes. Get out of the conversation. Dude, go away. Go away. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Married with Sims, and I am playing a Let's Play with Myla Sharp. Uh, Myla is now a spellcaster. This is one of my favorite of the Supernaturals. I know that it's not as fleshed out as vampires. I totally agree with that statement. Um, but I just, I like... I like that it's less intrusive than vampires. I like that they still age. I like that... You could choose to use the magic or not. Um, so I, I really like this. I really like the spellcasters. I don't... I like the spellcasters for what it is. I think the spellcasters could have been a lot better, but I like it for what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot L was a mean sim. Okay, well... Okay, so apparently you're just going to curse at this guy? You're just cursing at this guy. But within the game of Sims 4, I do like the spellcasters. I know that they're nothing near as what they were in Sims 2 or Sims 3, but that's just the way. It's not, but this isn't the same game. This isn't Sims 2 or Sims 3. So, all right. Where is the other kitchen? So it is 3 p.m. She's not really going to be able to start anything. She can do a little bit of extra study. But now that she's officially a spellcaster in the school, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in. I'm gonna put her in the green room. No, I shouldn't do that. She's a good sim. I would be in the green room. I'm kind of a Slytherin. Um, but and when I say I'm kind of a sim Slytherin, I'm definitely a Slytherin. But she, she's an ESFP. She's a good sim. She's not necessarily smart. She's ambitious, and she's good. Well, ambitious is very Slytherin, but good. Slytherins are good, too. You know what? Let's take off the bad rap Slytherins, and I'm going to put her in the green room, and I'm going to assign her to this bed. Um, assign this bed. 
and she's going to be in the green room. I don't think any of the other beds have been assigned. Probably not, because people don't technically live here. Now, is there, where is the other, other kitchen? I know there's one downstairs, like in the basement, but where is the other one? I thought there was one more. These towers, oh my gosh. This whole build, this whole build is a vibe. I love this build. I guess we're gonna have to go downstairs. Okay, well, I, there. I think there's another one, but if there is, I lost it. Um. Yeah, go ahead and clean this up for whoever left that out. She's a good sim. She does. She does nice things. She's just a really nice sim. She's out to. She picked the green room. She's like, oh, this is for ambitious people. I'm ambitious, and she doesn't realize that it's not really just ambitious people. I know Elle said that there was free food, but if no one made food, then of course there's not free food. Um, but sometimes people just do, do, some people do make food. Um, where, I, I really thought there was another kitchen in this build. I'm gonna have to put the walls down so I can see a little bit better. There's bathrooms. Oh, well, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. I thought there was one maybe up here. My nuts. I guess I am. Okay, well, I guess that's the only kitchen. Is it down in the basement? Interesting. Okay, well, while she's she can cook and eat, and the Sims don't take eight years to eat anymore, so that's good. Um, I don't think there's a TV in this lot, which is which is good. I'm not upset about that. I'm just double checking that she can't watch TV for fun. I don't think she can. No. Okay. But what she can do is she can play chess and she can also sing. And maybe she'll do that. Maybe we'll have her come upstairs after she's she's done eating. And she's just gonna come out the back here. She's gonna go here. You can you can sit here. That's fine while you eat. Oh. She's probably almost done. Oh yeah, she's done eating. Have you heard? Painting paintings at the Romance Festival. <gasps> oh, the Romance Festival is going to, that's okay. not going to go. I was going to go and then sing, but that's fine. We're not, um, I don't really want to go through another loading screen today. All right, stop reading. Hmm. Maybe that is the only kitchen. If it is, that's okay. It's not like a problem problem, but... I just could have sworn that I already, that I saw another kitchen. Okay, so she's going to go here and she's just going to sing to herself. It's very comforting to her. She's very good at singing and she misses singing, but she doesn't really want to bother anybody. So she's going to sing over here. And if anyone wants to come listen to her, they are more than welcome to. Is someone coming over? Maybe. Oh yeah, she is. Oh, he is too. Nice. Getting a crown. Making some money, getting a crowd. I turned up my desk audio, but I'm not sure you can still hear it yet. I'm going to go with probably not. Is he going to give us more money? Who's this guy? Okay. So we're going up for fun. She's not, she just doesn't, she's not like ready, ready to sing for everybody yet. Oh, here's Daryl. Oh, Daryl, I think Daryl heard her sing at the bar. We might take her to the bar a while back. Or in a while to, uh, then she can sing at the bar and make, like, proper money. Is she remembering? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I don't, no, I don't remember her doing that. She's indoorsy. I like that for her. That's good. Oh, here's a, uh, here's Morgan. So have you met Morgan? You have not. Okay, so exchange names. Morgan's going to be one of your professors, so, so she wants to say hello. Can we, 
Did we already say hello? Okay. Very nice. Um, that's kind of day. It's like, um, Let's see, does she like Morgan? I I don't know if it's on purpose, but it seems that every single one of my Sims is attracted to Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've had a single Sim that wasn't attracted to Morgan. If you've if you've noticed that too, let me know. I don't know how scientific my findings are, but every single one of my Sims is attracted to Morgan. So, so much so that let's play chess with Morgan. Okay, let's go play chess together. Um, interesting. Just walked right through there. Didn't care. Did not care at all. Oh, Morgan's not playing. Can you play with Morgan, please? My doing things with has been acting really crazy for the past, I don't know, three or four days. Can you talk to Morgan while we're playing? Let's talk about singers. Discuss interests. Now every day, uh, Myla is going to have to talk to all of the sages and um, get some of their learning from them. She's going to have to do like one-on-one -on -one training with all of them. But we're going to start that, you know, tomorrow when she wakes up since she pretty much spent all day becoming a uh, mage. I don't know if he likes her. I don't know if he likes her so much. Oh yeah, she's getting moody. She's pretty upset. She's having a rough time right now. And I think we're going to actually stop the chess game. <laughs> I think that's going to be enough chess for her. Is this, is this her bed? Isn't that her bed? I thought I gave her this bed. Did we not assign this bed to my lap? Was it not that one? Can we not assign beds in public lots? Maybe that's the issue. It doesn't say it's assigned. All right, very nice. Well, now she's going to sleep. Um, unfortunately, you know, we can't speed up time super, super speed because we're on a public lot, but we are in a bed, so we shouldn't be sleeping for too long. So there's Morgan upstairs still playing chess. Um, we've got some people, we've got Simon over here in what looks like his swimwear. Very practical of you, Simon. She has, of course, not met Simon yet, and I think we're going to do auto lights in her room just so that she can get a better sleep. There we go. It's darker in her room. We could do it with all the bedrooms, actually. But the lighting is really cool. It really adds to the, really adds to the look, doesn't it? That's something I don't play, enough, I play with enough. I don't usually adjust my lighting like this, but it is really cool when it's, when it's done right. I actually don't think the sages go to sleep. I don't think they need sleep when they're NPCs. So I don't think you can ever go super duper speed in um, here. Alright, let's do a um, early wake up call whenever she wants to. I don't know if all of these people are actually, can actually do magic or if they're all just kind of hanging out. So we've got, okay, we've got Morgan, who's, or Simon, Simeon, who seems to be in the lit library during this open. Uh, Alphaba, who seems to be in this office. Oh, she's on the move. Where's she headed? There's Alphaba. Oh, she's headed out here. And then we have um, Morgan, who seems to be up in the top for now. Oh, no. Morgan's on the move, too. Really weird that this connects like that. Very, very interesting. All right, so let's do, let's do a morning. Let's wake up in the morning, and before breakfast, 
she has to learn some practical magic before breakfast. So we need to go here. And we're going to spend some time with Simon, Simeon, excuse me, Simeon, learning some practical magic. So we're going to do practical magic before breakfast today. Now, uh, notice that nobody else is following this schedule. Uh, one, that's because I can't make anyone else follow the schedule. But two, nobody else is just following the schedule. That's not something that I can control. But basically in the game, Myla is in my head. Myla's like, well, I'm here. I'm going to do my best while I'm here. And um, I was told that there's a schedule, so I am following the schedule, even if no one else is. So she will be following the schedule. <laughs> so here we go. Let's say hello to Simeon. Let's do a little bit of chit chat, but can, can you please change your outfit? <laughs> like, please change your outfit. Uh, change your outfit to, to your, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, we said hello. Well, I thought we said hello. I'm gonna do a bit of discussion. Now, also, I've never once played a sim that um, gets to know him a little bit. Ask, hey, what do you what do you teach? What are we talking about here? So we're gonna talk a little bit, discuss some interests. All right, is she attracted to Simeon? I've never had a sim attracted to Simeon actually. So let's see, let's see if she's gonna be the first one. Let's see what Milo thinks of Simeon. Ooh, very attractive. That's exciting. That's different. All right. Well, you know, sometimes you do have a little crush on your teacher. <laughs> All right. Let's do a potion recipe. Um, and then let's do some practical magic. And then let's do... Oh, no, we're not going to not be him. So we're going to ask for a potion recipe. Greedy person, greedy and sage. Just like Alphaba is. Interesting. Oh, look. These other people are here, too. They're all following the schedule. They're like, okay, we're supposed to speak in the morning. So these are all the people who um, are were actually following our schedule that Alphaba said. Very exciting. I can't share my knowledge with anybody. Okay, well, that's fair. Um, okay, so we got to talk some more. He's got to, so Simeon is going to have to give us some more just basic information here nope wrong thing sorry uh so we're just going to talk to simeon and i know that i'm not selecting anything that they would actually be talking about but did you say hello to these people you did okay but you know in our story they're talking about magic and they're talking about the um history they're talking about some history specific to practical magic Let's discuss some world peace. Ah, he's a geek. All right, so, um, why is that all in, oh, I was trying to figure out, like, why was that all in friendly? All right, so they're just they're just talking about you know practical magic, and she just doesn't have enough knowledge yet to get any information. So she's gonna have to work at it. I know we're kind of nearing the thirty minute mark, but she just got started, so pretty excited about this. Oh, he's gloomy. You know what? I think I've asked about his day like fourteen times. <laughs> I remember in The Sims 3, if you kept spamming the same interaction, maybe not in The Sims 3, but definitely in The same Sims 2, if you kept spamming the same interaction, um, your Sims got really angry that they were talking to you and they were like, and you started to get bad friendship as opposed to positive friendship because they were just tired of listening to you anymore. Alright, about favorite singers, compliment outfit, you know, all the great stuff, bright and day. Can I ask about 
not in here anymore. We could ask about career though, and then it won't show up anymore. Oh, they even have a sentiment together. Sentiments seem to be so easy to get. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it's like really hard or sometimes it takes a while, but a lot of times it's just really, really easy. You're starting to smell really bad. Oh yeah, we really need to, to get that. Um, I don't actually think there's a computer here. Oh, man. I think she has one. Auto use. Realistic. Okay, that's fine. Well, as long as she has one. And maybe we'll sneak in a little bit of a flirt. I mean, you know, who hasn't tried to flirt with their teachers? <laughs> not me. That's not me. <laughs> um... Does he like it? Is he receptive? I think he's actually going to be a bit receptive to it. Oh, she's over here stinking up. Um, can we get a potion recipe now, please? And can we get some practical magic advice? Are we still not friends enough to do this? Oh, he told her about a new fish. Um, what? Identify, oh, the chi oh, the cheat shield. <gasps> she knows screw brew. Do you know what that means? She can do it to herself now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad she knows screw brew. He's like, you're really gross. Um, I need to teach you this one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so he didn't give her a potion recipe, but we got to get one of those too. And we do, we've got the Plentiful Needs Potion. Lovely, all right. Well, can you screw brew yourself, please? Magic. Screw brew. Stop talking. It is time for um, lunch. Or I guess breakfast, it's time for breakfast, brunch. I don't know. Try to screw brew yourself, see what happens. Nice, hygiene's done. All right, so we're going to go have some brunch. I know we have plentiful needs, but um, we are going to have breakfast. We're going to do some fruit salad for breakfast. Is that what she's doing? Oh, no. Now she is. Okay, cool. All right, so that was that was the first part of the schedule was she had to meet with um, Simeon and learn some practical magic and a new potion. Can I not? Oh. You scoop her on that too. Who's this woman? This woman is here for lunch also, but I'm not making lunch for everybody. I'm just making me some lunch. I'm sorry. Yo, Kimo. Oh, the flea market. Man, I wish the flea market wasn't today. Because I really am not going through another loading screen. She's staying here. She's staying here. Um, we don't really have a lot to sell right now anyway. So it's okay. Although she could have gone to sing, but it's fine. Alright. Bam. It's gone. That's exciting. Alright, here's someone who does not want to talk to us. Um, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Is there a place to, are we putting the, the stuff in the inventory or they're just, I guess you just, everything magically gets cleaned while you're here. All right. Well, after um, breakfast, we need to do a little bit of practicing magic. So let's just, um, actually she, she does need some bladder. So let's use the bathroom and then let's see if we can find a tome. And if we can find a tome, we can read the tome. Although we might find a tome we can't read, and then we'll just have to read another book and pretend she's reading magic. What is even in here? Oh, wow, there's a lot of magics. Okay, actually, she's going to read about familiars. There we go. She's going to read about familiars. She's not ready for tomes. She's going to read about familiars. She wants to watch karaoke. All right. Can you go read in the library? 
So as you see, this is like kind of the main classroom gathering area, apparently. Even though there's lots of seats over here where people can read, she's just going to sit here and read because it is, why is there a, oh, I think that's where like it's overlaps right there. That's got to be what that is. Yeah. So she's going to spend some time reading. It is in the schedule. After you eat, you got to read. She has to spend a little bit of time reading about magic, self-studying. 1001 tricks you can teach your familiar. So that's what she's reading. And then she'll get to um, work with L. Okay. Who else is here? While she, while she's here, she can she can talk to people while she's here. No reason why not. Say hello. Lots of teens here. Well, maybe not lots of teens, but there's quite a few teens here. Can she can she say hello while she reads? Can Sims multitask their reading? I don't think so. All right. Well, she's been reading for. We'll stop her at two. It is helping her friend fun also. So. Okay. So she'll stop. That's enough reading. That's enough self study for now. Oh, sparkles on him. All right. But now it's time to talk to Alphaba and ask for some mischief mat. I would, oh, the bet was probably about, um, they were like, hey, remember that singer who was, like, kind of bad? Because I think the last time Nancy heard her, she was really bad. Well, I know that we can't share it with you. Stop talking to him. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking, we're just talking to Alphaba. Also, I guess I didn't realize that anyone could ask, they could ask for magic from anybody. Deliriate, very nice. Okay, Deliriate is the one that does what? Uh, scramble someone else's thoughts, fun. And the Potion of the Nimble Mind, that's awesome. Okay. All right, well, talking to Alphaba, it is now 2.30, so we all know what that means. Potions practice, although, wait, is there no Hold up. <laughs> Are there no potion? Is there is there not a cauldron here? Is is the there not a, there's not a cauldron, is there? We don't have a cauldron. Is there really no cauldron? In this beautiful build, there's no cauldron. Is that can that be right? Is that right? Oh, how are there all these classrooms and no cauldrons? Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a real bummer. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Well, it's okay. It's okay. We'll just have to add a cauldron. Enable free build. Okay. Oh, I was going to get her a box of, um, I was going to get her a box of tampons too for her needs. So let's do a cauldron. cauldron and which type of cauldron would they have here they probably have this cauldron honestly and I think they'd have a few of them so let's do I think they'd have a few of them now where would they be I like this classroom down here like a sciencey classroom hmm kind of like that around the glowing orb so it wouldn't be there. They'd probably have one outside, but I think they'd have a few for like classroom, like a classroom usage of a few of them. Wouldn't be here because that's where the kids, that's where you live. So maybe, maybe it'll be here. Maybe we can get rid of some of these. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get rid of some of these. And we'll do cauldrons in the middle. And then, oh no, 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 that was bad. That was really bad. Okay. There we go. And we'll do some cauldrons in the middle of various colors. We'll do like one here. Okay. Apparently we'll have to do one. If we do one here, can we fit one here? 
We cannot. Okay. And we can't really go any closer. Yeah, closer isn't really an option. Can we go one here? No, not really. Um, and we can't put them next to each other, right? We cannot. I could probably turn move objects on. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do that, but they might not be able to get around. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that. So we'll have a few up here. We'll have one that's this color and we'll have one that that's, that's color. That's co actually, you know what? They can both be that color. They'll be that color. And then can we do like, can we do a desk next to it? You know what? We can. So maybe what we do instead is we put the desks next to the cauldrons. How close can this go? Right there. And that's facing that direction. Okay. 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 We can work with this. All right. I can, I can do something with this. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to end up needing, so I'm just going to put them back. Yep. And can we put one here? No, but we can put one there. Okay. Can this go here? Probably not. No, because the door's there. It can go there, though. Okay, that can go there, and then this can go here. Which means, which probably means that... No. Okay. Let's see. Here's kind of where it lines up. So it'd be there. And then this would be here, except it can't be there. Let's move this over. It can't go there. So that would go there. Okay. 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 So far, so good. Um, this, I bet if I moved this here, this could go further up. Yeah. But this can't really go further further up, can it? Oh no. Are those in the middle? I don't think so. I think that was there. Yeah, they can't really go further up. So there's really no point in doing that. So this will come down here and then this will go back in the middle. Okay. And then, um, we'll do that and we'll have, see where we can place one more of these. Nope. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get rid of some of these. All right, Cauldron of Excellence. Can't go there, but I bet that if I move this here, it can't go here, but can it go here? It can go there. Can this desk go here? Oh, it can, this desk can go here. Um, hmm. This go there. I don't think that can go there, no. I was gonna try to do like an every other sort of thing, but that's not gonna work. Hmm. Well, I guess this is it's just really really asymmetrical and it's kind of bothering me. <laughs> Asymmetry is kind of um kind of a problem for me. So that's going to go here, but people will use it facing that direction. And people use that facing that direction, this direction, this direction, and that direction. All right. Well, it's not super symmetrical. It's kind of, it's kind of obnoxious how unsymmetrical it is, but it's fine. And now we have cauldrons. All right. So they do cauldrons up in the top floor. So that is what she's going to do. She is going apparently to mop something up because she is pretty okay. Any particular reason why we're not moving? Okay, there we go. And she's not going to mop anymore. Totally fine. All right, but she is going to come up here because it is potion time. So she's just going to do some experimenting. She doesn't really have anything to brew. Um, while she's experimenting. Let me check around here. What sort of plants did, did they give me? We're going to go with uh, none. All right. So if I want plants, I have to plant them. Totally fine. Oh, right. And I need to get... Um... Oh, that's too far. All right. Here she is experimenting. 
Ugh, so heavy. Such hard, difficult work. I need to get her two things also. I'm going to need to get her a journal. And I'm going to have to get her um, some tampons. So let's see. Where's the journal? And they're able to... So this is a new journal I got from around The Sims. I do like this one. It's got like a spiral to it, which is pretty cool. And let's see which one's kind of her style. Which one's a little witchy-ish? That one's kind of witchy. Let's see. What's it actually look like? <laughs> UK one, that's cool. Um, I think that one probably is the best. I like that. It's got a spiral around it. It looks like a spiral notebook. And let's get some tampons for her as well. Put that there. And then put this in her inventory. You want to play? Thank you. Oh, you know what? I doubt. I don't know if she can actually. All right. My game is, uh, my game is having some issues. Can she? Oh, she can't. Wait, she can't use those things? No, she can. She can't use that. <sighs> That's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. But she can write in this journal. So, that's good. Last time in build, hopefully. <laughs> and here we go. Any particular reason why you're not working? There you go. And I think she can use this. Yes, she can. She can write it. She can't put it away because she doesn't own it. So she's going to experiment for a while, and then she's going to go write in her journal, and then she's going to probably have to... What are you doing? No. Why are you putting that away? Ugh, now we're going to have to go find that so that she can write in it, but it's okay. Is this... Okay, that's not carpet. I thought I put the cauldrons on carpet for a second. Alright, so she's doing some experimenting. Oh, Simon, Simeon came over to say hello. Alright, well go ahead and discuss interests. That's my journal, Simeon. Yeah, that's my journal. I might have to take her home to uh, actually own a journal and, you know, make sure she's okay. But right now, she's just, you know, experimenting, slaving over the hot. He's giving her some pointers and some instructions. Nice. Can you write in that now? Is she is going to let her? I know it's not hers. If she starts writing in it, it might be hers. Nice. All right, so she's what she's doing is she's writing her findings from her experimentations. And he's helping to guide her to make sure that, you know, everything is, um, he's helping to guide her so that he knows what she's doing and, and she knows what she's doing and everything. Yeah. Should this type of, does she own this now? I hope she owns it. No, but she can hide it. Oh no, she does. She put it in her inventory. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I know like this sort of like storytelling and pretend. I never really had to do this with the other games, with like Sims 2 and Sims 3, but you know, once I figured it out with Sims 4, I ended up really, I do really enjoy Sims 4 with the, the storytelling element to it. So she's going to go to bed. And um, that was day one. I'd say she had a very successful first day. She didn't get to do anything with Morgan. So but now that she knows um, Simeon a little better, she'll be able to, to breeze through and get all three of them. I know you're not going to go super fast, but you could go a little faster. All right, so we have a few goals for her here. We're going to... Um, we're going to want her to finish this section. We want we want her to finish this aspiration while she's in school. 
Um, and while she's here, she's also going to earn, you know, a little more money while she sings on her time off when she's not learning or in class. And um, also, we're kind of hope I'm kind of hoping she finds a nice love, a good love interest while she's here. Right now, we have Simeon and we have Morgan. Um, if you know anyone's interested in, in either of those, we can go ahead with those. Morgan is awesome, and Morgan makes really nice, nice kids. Like I said, I've had anyone interested in Simeon before. I might go that route, but the whole like teacher student thing, it's a little weird for me. Um, just a, just a little weird for me, but it's not like, it, I mean, she's a, she's an adult and a consent, they're both consenting adults. So it's not really that weird, but it it is a little bit weird. I think she's just going to do, um, I think she's going to do hand magic for a while and then she's going to get her, be able to get her wand when she's leveled up a little bit in her spell casting. Alright, so let's go ahead and wake up and let's go find Morgan because we weren't able to I just go what's going on here? Magic. Um ask to teach some magic. Oh. Hmm. I wonder who she upset. Alright, Myla, you gotta put your clothes on though. Change outfit, please. Zip zap. Great. Awesome. And then ask him for some uh, potion recipe. And she's got Porch Fortune, the Good Fortune one. Lovely. All right. So all she needs to do now is become an acolyte and own a cauldron. All right, why don't you go back upstairs and finish the night out? That was You just did that because you weren't able to talk to him during the day. So go ahead and go back to your bed. Head on back to your bed. Oh, and that was Sunday. She was doing a whole day of learning on Sunday. Oh, well, that's okay. That happens. Wow, there is a quite a group of people out here by the portal. In or out, people. In or out. All right, well, now she has officially learned one spell from everybody. She has gotten a potion from everybody, and she's kind of got the groove of the day going. Um, she gets kind of what's going on now. She's She's got her spell casting. Um, every day is not going to go like this, of course. You know, there's some days where she's going to have to fish, and she, she has other type of classes. She's going to have to do some gardening. Um, so just, you know, while we're here, though, this is a good opportunity for her to get some some skills up this is a good opportunity for the gameplay to be a little bit more varied than just like sing try to nap on the benches find somewhere to eat sing eventually we'll have money to like build get a uh, tent but it's gonna take a while and then sing and you know so this is just kind of breaking up the, the gameplay um without really leaving the immersion so i know i said realistic and we're at a magic school but you know that's what happens sometimes Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed this episode. I'm enjoying playing with Myla. Last time I played a game like this, this is not how it went at all. So I'm very excited that I have a completely different game going. And um, I hope you liked it. And if you did, let me know. And tune in for the next one. Have a great, have a great rest of your day. Bye.